Yeah. Testing, testing, one, two, three, good. Hello everyone, this is Cos Cook and welcome back to the channel. We are now continuing Sam and Max. Let's go loading. So we're playing Abe Lincoln Must Die and we just got into the Oval Office after I had to trick the security guard on phone, which I should have figured out in the first place, as usual. Let's go, shall we? Oh my god, the music. Remember Chuckles? Alright, first of all, let's have a look. Hi, I'm George Washington. Anyone need their nuts cracked? <laughs> Please don't make fun of George Washington. Oh my gosh. Again. Get out of the way. Try again. Hi. I'm George. <laughs> Please don't make. There's another book. This girl says fluffy on it. Wasn't that Warren G. Harding's nickname? <laughs> okay. Um. Oh my god. He has not. Looks like there are rats in the Oval Office. Sam, you finally done it. A straight line so easy, even I won't touch it. <laughs> now that's a familiar looking book. I think that was it. Grady, whatever his name is, with the uh, it's hypnotizing Are people. These pictures of you with cardboard cutouts of other presidents. Yeah. We're all cardboard under the skin, son. Funny how almost anything makes sense if a president says it. <laughs> Stop, hello. What's this? Hmm. Throw pillows shaped like stars. Interesting, since actual stripes. stars are shaped more like throw pillows. Uh, yeah. God, everything in here is like a motif. These plates commemorate the core values of freedom-loving peoples everywhere. Eating a lot and hitting things with sticks? Exactly. Okay, I am going to have to turn this down. I think the music is kind of drowning out. Okay. Alright, there we go. Done. Has it saved it? Yeah, it's just the music was uh, right off taking the... Um, it's very loud. Yeah, I think Grady, Paul... What's his name? Paul or Grady? No, 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 no. Uh, what's his name? Magic Man. He's the one behind all of this. Roosevelt's boxing gloves, encased in lucite. Oh, wow. TR or FDR? ER, I think. <sighs> this is either an early draft of the Declaration of Independence or a crude map of Lithuania. <laughs> Love it. Hey, George Washington again. I'm not sure who this is, but he must be important. <sighs> What's it plot? Is that a potted plant or? The Vice President of the United States? It is hard to tell the difference. <laughs> What's this? Whee! Get out of the way. In the way, Max. Apparently, even U.S. Presidents have mothers. Aww. U.S. Tricky. Senate talent show, second place. My finest hour. Okay. Calendar. Hands off, boy. That's my presidential calendar. All right, all right. Max. No, give me the, give me the fucking lagomorph, Max. I want to talk to Max. Max, can you get your butt back here, please? There we go. Nice place Pretty they got here. Pretty fancy office, isn't it, Max? <laughs> One day this will all be mine. Oh God, I how America horrifying! And the rest of the free world, and praying that will never happen. Amen to that. The president's acting plum loco. This is the second most entertaining hypnotic trance I've ever seen. <laughs> What's the first? Watermelon. <laughs> uh, how should we fix this? How are we going to get the president back to normal? I think a blow to the head should fix it. You think a blow to the head fixes everything. But I've got a really good feeling about it this time. <laughs> what do we do now, Max? I'd like to get the president alone and give him a piece of my mind. I don't think you have a piece to spare. <laughs> I'm glad we took this time to talk, Max. Keep in touch, Sam. I mean that. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, let's see what else we've got around the office. First of all, talk to Chuck as the president. Oh. Is that... House of Representatives and Oh, gardens. gosh. 
<laughs> I love it. Are these pictures? We're all cardboard under the skin. Funny how almost. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Why have you got a TV camera? Pithy? Pithy? What's pithy? It's a stack of pithy campaign slogans. Oh, don't fool with those! Wouldn't want to be caught on national TV with my drawers down. Again. What, literally, or... Oh, well, uh... When he talks, he looks like the fucking um, Canadian from South Park. Hands off the cameras! The mouth moves weird. Exit door. So this is how we came in. Hang on, how do we come in? War room door. War. <laughs> what is no it good for? Okay, all right. That's it. You two are coming with me. Oh dear. Oh dear. I didn't even get to talk to the president. Oh crap. Please stay out. Hello. Now I have to get back there? to the president. Hello. He's not supposed to be alone. Excuse me. Wizard. Oh, welcome, Governor Wizard. Governor. Waiting for you. Governor Wizard. Hey, who better to run a state than a washed-up, urination-loving former child star? No one. <laughs> uh, can we go back Hello. in? Hello. Is anyone there? He's still on the no, phone. Sir. I said soda abuse. It's a very important issue. Was I? No, comprende, son. But I'm speaking English. Ah, oh, are, are you two fellas the interpreters? It's about time. Oh, God. Find this thing. We just had a couple imposters in here. Dead ringers for you two. Were they walking around examining everything and engaging everyone in pointless conversations? Those are the ones. Those accursed clones. When will their devilish mimicry end? Help me out with this here potentate, would you? Can't understand a dang word. But that doesn't make sense. I don't even have an accent. Oh no, momento, por favor. You impatient little guy, ain't he? <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on. I didn't even get to talk to the president. No, no, no. We need to talk to the president. I'm talking to the president. All right, chuckles. Let's talk to you and the president. Hey, Matt. Do you work here? What tipped you off? We're freelance police, buddy. This is a national emergency. And we don't appreciate your sassy mouth. Conditions <laughs> for new White House pet down the hall. <laughs> this can only end in violence. No. Ooh, this guy's voice sounds familiar. Do you recognize him, Max? Yeah. At the time, I don't even recognize you, Sam. I'm over here, little buddy. Who said that? <laughs> you seem familiar. Do I know you from somewhere? Yeah. I'm that voice in the back of your head that tells you to mind your own business. The veiled threats, the surly tone. I've got it. Now you have it. You're that pit boss from the Toy Mafia. Hey, I smell well a done. conspiracy. You smell a nosy dog who's going to get smacked if he don't stop asking questions. What's the Toy Mafia man doing here? What's the Toy Mafia got to do with the Secret Service? What Toy Mafia? Oh, he's good, Sam. The Orso Nostra, <laughs> the sacred organization you inducted me and Max into in a time-honored ceremony. The one that we infiltrated, repeatedly duped, and then blew up in a fiery explosion of death and property damage. I was going to casually forget to mention that part, Max. That's a very entertaining story, Chowderheads. Now, run along and play whilst I protect the leader of our country. Yeah, right. I suspect foul play. I think somebody may have hypnotized the president while you weren't looking. You, perhaps. Very funny. <laughs> what do you do around here? What do you do around here? I give out free t-shirts to the visitor who asks the dumbest question of the day. Please accept my apologies, but we're all out of husky boys sizes. <laughs> Woo! Double burn! <laughs> nice! I thought you were on my side, Max. I just call him like I see him, Sam. <laughs> You're a bodyguard. You're the president's personal bodyguard? You catch on quick. We need to have a private meeting with the president. National security. Go right ahead. I meant private, as in wait outside and we'll call you when we need you. And national security, as in we need to clobber the president on the head to break his hypnotic oh, trance. Oh, man. Gift for Sam. Uncanny, Max. 
And that's uncanny as in, you two try anything and I'll plug you. Ugh, you always with the You're president? You're always with the president? Even when he's got a, you know... Always. I never leave his side. Your codependency sickens me. And it sickens me in exactly the same way, doesn't it, Max? I mean, Sam. Jesus. Uh, what's behind that door? What's behind that door? Yeah. It's a private club for people who aren't annoying me. You two ain't invited. Should we pummel him together, Sam? Or would you rather take turns? <laughs> we can create a national security incident after we've saved the president, Max. Ugh. Seriously, what's behind Seriously, the door? Seriously, Al, what's behind that door? It's the door to the war room. With unrestricted access to the United States' entire arsenal of long-range missile weapons. There's no part of that sentence I didn't like. And it's unanimous. <laughs> We'd like a tour. Nobody gets into the war room during peacetime. Stay away from it, or I'll have to escort you out. Let us into the war Two room. for the war room, please. Nothing doing. But Max came all this way. He's been dreaming of it for years. Can you look into those big brown slits he uses oh for my eyes God. and crush the lifelong dream of a childlike rabbity creature? Even if I were moved by that kind of thing, which I ain't, this door stays locked at all times, unless we're in a war. <laughs> Let us into the war room. Stay away from it, or I'll have to escort you out. Oh, fun. Let us into... Stay away... All right, repeat. You're always with... Always. I... Okay. I think somebody may have hypnotized the... You, perhaps. Very funny. Okay, yeah, yeah, hang on. We'll be back. I cannot wait. Yeah, the one thing that's annoying about this game is sometimes you hit the nail on the head way too quickly. I haven't even finished exploring. Liberty Bell lamp, come on. The Liberty Bell is a light for this room, just as America is a light for... Yes! Metaphor is such an ugly quality in furniture. <laughs> badges. It's a bunch of merit badges from the Weasel Scouts. What the hell? I got one of those once, but they took it away when they found out what I used for bait. <laughs> it's a bunch of merit badges from the Weasel. I got one of. Th All right, well, we got Eagle Statue. Take a look at that. <laughs> I love this country. Eagle with one gun, gun in one talon, and money in the other. This snow globe has a little Apollo 13 inside. Aww. What happens when you shake it? I'm afraid to find out. I don't want to know. <laughs> if it's anything like the movie, you don't want to know. Globe, Whee! get out of the way. Nice globe. Amazing how often I need it in this job. Hey now, that's my super special top secret ribbon. Don't touch it. National budget, oh gosh. Stand back, son. That there's the national budget. Oh wow. Sorry, what is it? Stand back, son. That there's the Independent Hall, budget. the Alamo Statue of Liberty. Okay. Right, let's go to the war room and get ourselves kicked out. No one enters the war room. I'll keep going. Go on. That's it. You two are coming with me. <laughs> and stay out. Lol. Now I have to get back to the present. He's not supposed to. Excuse me. Sorry, oh. gonna skip, Stop skip, skip. Hey, skip, who skip, better to skip. run a state than a wash? No one! <laughs> oh boy. You still on there? Can't talk now. I'm on the phone. Jesus. They need to put some more people on staff, seriously. Alright, uh, let's go back no, in. No, sir. I said soda abuse. Was I? But I'm speaking. Ah, oh, are, are you two fell? Darndest thing. Were they walking around examining conversations? Those are the ones. Those accursed clones. When will their devilish mimicry end? <laughs> Help me out with this here potentate, would you? Can't understand potentate? a dang word. But that doesn't make sense. I don't even have an accent. You impatient little guy, ain't he? Jesus. Wizard, what's up, man? What's new, Wizard? That's Governor Wizard. Thank you very much. We're ready, f We're ready to, to interpret, interpret for you. Don't tell me. The president needs the interpreter. What did he say, Sam? 
I'm speaking English. I don't even have an accent. Can't understand a word. <laughs> what are you doing? What brings here? you to the Oval Office? I'm trying to build up nationwide support for the MRSAPP. Mr. Who's Mr. Sapp? Sapp? And why didn't you want me to know you were talking about him? I can spell, you know. It's the Mount Rushmore Soda Abuse Prevention Program. It's totally changed my life. I've been carbonation free for over four weeks now. Uh, tell us more about Mr. Sapp. Tell us about the MRSAPP. Be brief. I started the Mount Rushmore Soda Abuse Prevention Program after I became governor to help people get flat like me. But if we can't get federal funding, people all over the Dakotas are going to get right back on the pop. I don't work eight hours a day, six days a week just to throw my money away for some washed up soda junkies with no sense of self-control. You don't have any money, Max. <laughs> oh, right. Never mind. Good luck with that, Wiz. Lol. You don't drink soda at all? So you really kicked the soda habit, huh? And how? Back when I was on the pop, I was in a real downward spiral. That endless cycle of always looking for my next fizz, then having to take time out for number one. Then I saw that documentary about Peanut Franklin, and it convinced me I didn't want to be just another self-destructive former child star. Peanut Franklin, the lovable star of Mixed Nuts who was found Mixed in a seedy nuts. Hollywood motel room dead of anaphylactic shock? Oh! What you mean you ain't got no jelly? Still too soon, Max. Oh. Try to make me go to rehab. I said no, no, no. And then I think there was a guy on YouTube who said, and now you're dead. Oof. One of those kind of moments. Governor Wizard. What are you the governor of? The 51st and greatest state, West Dakota. Don't you guys read the papers? Nope. Just the funnies. You mean the obituaries, Max. <laughs> potato, potato. We're a young state, but with our own rich traditions that make us a distinct tourist destination, apart from the north and south. Uh, how did you get into politics? How did you get into politics? I won the election. It was a very close race, but I totally won the popular vote. Was it a runoff election? Oh, gosh. You see what I did there? Runoff? Cause he's wizard? You're still the master of fourth grade gutter humor, Max. Did that sign said I did not have sex with... What were your qualifications for yeah. office? I'm a television celebrity. Now there's a platform I can get behind. If Arnold Schwarzenegger can, can do it. Are you sure you wouldn't like a nice cold soda? Did not have sex hey, with thanks. what? I'll take a... Whoa, no! Stay strong, wizard. You control the bubbles. The bubbles don't control you. Stop talking about soda, will ya? Stop talking about the crisp, clean taste. The <laughs> is as it pours <laughs> over <laughs> ice into a frosty glass. All of it. I've been completely flat for over a month now. I can't go back to the way I used to be. I just can't. Uh. I'm Mrs. Sapp Tell again. us about the MRSAPP again. I have to get federal funding for the soda abuse prevention program. Go flat. Just say no to carbonation. Oh dear. Who are they ready to interpret for you? Don't tell me. The president needs the interpreter. What did he say, Sam? I'm speaking English. I don't even have an accent. Can't understand a word. <laughs> All right, we're done See here. See around, wizard. All right, Chuckles, what's up? Listen up, buddy. Oh, good. You're back. Uh, let us into the war let room. Let us into the war room. Stay away from it, or I'll have to escort you out. Sure, whatever. We'll be back. I cannot wait. Yeah, him, between him and the, uh, the, uh, rainbow guy. Yeah. Anything else? Okay, Mr. President, let's have it. Good day, Mr. President. We come in peace, as far as you know. Uh -huh. Oh, finally, the interpreters. Where have you been? Uh, you've been hypnotized. Snap out of it, Mr. President. You've been hypnotized. Sure, I haven't been hypnotized. That's crazy talk. 
You've got to listen to us, sir, or we'll be forced to take drastic action. Don't talk to me about drastic action. You ever been pinned down in a drugstore parking lot by a pack of muskrat commandos with nothing left to lose? Ever had to gnaw your best buddy's leg off just so you could get his socks and put them on your own ears to fend off the enemy's deadly sonic regurgitator ray? Now that's crazy. Wow. Talk. I'm impressed. <laughs> Wake up, Mr. Wake President. Up, Mr. President. You've never given up on anything in your life. Don't start now. That's awful nice of you fellas, but I haven't been hypnotized. Yes, Not you have. With the head trauma, Sam. What was that? Uh oh. We'll have to get the president alone, Max. Okay. You're under arrest. Freelance police. You're under arrest. Freelance police? Now there's the kind of can-do vigilante attitude that makes America strong. Oh God. Finally, someone who appreciates our greater calling. Seriously, you're under Seriously, arrest. Seriously, you're under arrest. <laughs> oh, you can't arrest me. Foolish chief executive. Does he not fear us? Trust us, Mr. President. It's for your own good. Nah, see, it's the Secret Service regulations. I can't leave the Oval Office. What? It's still under you're arrest. still under arrest. We can get your administration back on track with just a hint of bloodshed if you'll just... Where does the little one keep his gun? Best not to think about it, sir. Ask no one. <laughs> you don't want to know. Uh, wake up, Mr. Snap out of it, Chief. Lest we must administer a blow to thy noggin. Keep away from him. Oh, dear. Snap out of it, Chief. Lest keep away. Okay, had that one. We're ready to interpret for you. All right, let's get this party started. Uh-huh. <laughs> Mr. President, my fellow Americans, I come to warn you about a serious epidemic facing our country. The scourge of soda abuse. Many former popheads like myself found ourselves in the endless cycle of addiction and elimination until we believed there was no hope. I don't know what you're saying, son, but you're selling it, boy. Good job. I ask you, how long can this epidemic continue? What was that? He said. How long can this epidemic continue? Prepare to die after the suppressor. That's the guy I gotta do to get a drink around here. Uh, uh, hang on. That one? Prepare to die, <laughs> capitalist oppressor. Are you trying to pick a fight with me, son? No, I'm just trying to educate you on a very important issue. What did he say? <laughs> I like waste you see. Uh, hmm, that's not right. Mm, that's not right. I right, forgot right. that massive nuclear stockpile is a masculine noun. <laughs> What's that about nukes? Uh, just ignore him, Mr. President. He's psychotic. Yeah. Let's start over. <clears throat> Once again, Mr. President. All right, let's do the, the right impact thing. Of so I ask again, how long can this epidemic continue? Great job, great job. What do you say? He said. <laughs> how long is? All right, let's do. How long can this epidemic right continue? First, and then epidemic? We will... What's this about an epidemic? The epidemic of soda abuse, sir. By 2010, four out of five children will be addicted to soda. And the impact on our nation's plumbing system will be disastrous. What was that? Uh, what? That soda abuse, blah, 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 whatever. <laughs> Something about soda abuse, blah, blah, whatever. Hmm. Sounds like one of them touchy-feely tax and spend welfare programs. He said, hmm, sounds like one of those... I heard what he said. Are you guys sure you're translating correctly? Yeah. Don't blame us, buddy. You're the one with a speech impediment. Try it again from the top, wizard. Where was I? Oh, right. Soda abuse. How long can this epic Come again? He said. <laughs> okay. I know. Let's see. Can... There you go about an epidemic again. What epidemic? Denying <laughs> the problem won't make it go away, Mr. President. What was that? Ah, uh, here we go. Surly listless teens. The epidemic of surly <laughs> listless teens. That is a problem. I blame the video games. What does that have to do with anything? I think he's confused. Let's start again from the top. All right, let's go for it. All right. 
soda abuse. How long can come again? He said. All right, what's the guy got to do to get a drink around here? What's a guy got to do to get a drink around here? Aha, I know what you need. An ice-cold orange sugar fizz. I swear by it. No, that's not what I want at all. I must resist. But I am thirsty. And just one frosty cold and so delicious. All the progress I've made. They were about to give me my five-week pin. I almost feel bad about this. So do I. I don't have a conscience, Sam. <laughs> What's your excuse? Oh no, this is gonna be bad. <clears throat> uh oh. Oh, blessed angels of carbonation, fill me with your syrupy nectar. He's gonna go mad. Ew. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm not so much guilty as repulsed. Yeah. Keep it coming. More. I need more. I need. I need a bathroom! Which way is the bathroom? Uh which way is <laughs> Where is the war room? Which way is the war room? <gasps> it's that door right over there! But I don't Oh, thank you! Where do you think you're going? I've got to get in there! Bad! We've got a priority red number two <laughs> in the Oval Office. No, it's just number one. Escorting the suspect to holding cell for interrogation. Oh no. Come with me, sir. But it'll only take a second. Please let me go. <laughs> <That was time. laughs> Amazing. Okay, no, no, I didn't catch all that. What did he say? All right, here we go, Mr. President. This is your own good. Yep. Whack him one. Now it's time for some checks and balances, freelance police style. Max, will you do the honors? Of course he will. Gladly. Look it, fellas. My fingertips look like little tadpoles. Oh! <gasps> I know he wasn't real. They don't make these guys like they used to. That's no guy, Max. It's a damned ugly puppet. Ah, the drawstring in his back should have been our first clue. Our first clue should have been the swirly eyes. But, silly me, I thought hypnotizee, not hypnotizer. What? Yes, an ingenious device being used to hypnotize the TV-watching public. But who was controlling him? Gonna take days to get that smell out of the interrogation room. What? What have yeah. you done? He was like that when we got here. Sam did it! <laughs> yeah. So these two numbskulls managed to off the president. It was a deep tissue massage gone horribly wrong. Ninjas! Sam did it! Still, Sam did it. ratings from the last State of the Union address were even lower than reruns of Midtown Cowboys. I didn't expect to have to replace the president so soon. Now that these idiots have forced my hand, uh, we're standing right here. Yeah. You can hear everything you're saying. Duh. It's time for a leader that people will have to listen to. Agents Jackson, Burr, and Degambe, we are moving the timeline forward. Commence phase two of the operation. I'll prepare the new candidate. The what? In this temple is it? I can't read that. Oh, piss off! <laughs> Robo Lincoln! Not quite the reaction I would have expected from a Secret Service agent discovering two people over the decapitated body of the President. What do you think this fake body is made of? Can I keep it? No time for that now, Max. We've got to stop the... Wait, what's that noise? Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh... Listen, scuba diving Buddha on a banana boat with cocktail onions and a map to the star's homes. Yeah! They've reanimated America's most beloved president. I always thought Taft was shorter. Not Taft, you deficient. My fellow Americans, I am Abraham Lincoln. As you know by now, your president was recently murdered by two mysterious interpreters. But turn not to fear and despair. I have returned to guide us through this troubled time. A vote for me is a vote for Abraham Lincoln. Oh my get it. god. What's that? Uh-huh. Lincoln Memorial. Right. Hydraulic motors and robotic implants. Yes. Okay. I see. We're on it. Wrong number? That was the commissioner, Max. If this new Mecha Lincoln wins the emergency election, the nefarious forces controlling him will have unchecked power to destroy the entire free world. I hate when they do that. 
That's why one of us is going to have to run against him. Oh, you got to answer no. the phone! Okay, fair's fair. Max, we're going to make you the next president of the United States. Yes! Oh, really? <laughs> really? Holy hell. Right, um... Wow, that was a lot to take in. So we have Robo Lincoln, a missing president, and Max is going to be president. You're joking. This psychotic lagomorph is going to run for president. I'll give him two weeks before he's impeached. Okay, so... Later, it is until next time. Remember, make memories, not videos, and stay safe. And one more. Let's just have a look at this thing. Come on. I mean, seriously. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Bye bye.